the big garden. God made a beautiful big garden for Adam and Eve to live in, with the river flowing through it. It was such a beautiful big garden with all the plants and trees that God had created, and the insects and birds and fish. When God saw what He had made, He was so happy. God loved His children. God made them to be close to Him. That was always His plan, right from the very start. And there was nothing that would get in the way of that. Right in the middle of the garden, God had put the tree that tells you what is good and bad. He told them that they must not eat of the fruit from that tree, or even touch it. Otherwise, they will think they know everything, and they will stop trusting God, and sad things would come. Adam and Eve did as God asked. Each day, He would spend time with them. God was very pleased, but there was someone who wanted to destroy God's beautiful garden. Satan had been an angel, but he wanted to be more than just an angel. He wanted to be God. He became very angry and full of hate, so God had to send him away from heaven. Now, sneaky Satan disguised himself as a snake in the garden. To trick Eve. If God really loved you, He would let you have whatever you wanted, including the fruit from this tree. He lied. The fruit will make you wise, like God. Eve thought for a while. She saw that the fruit did look good to eat, and she did want to be wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. And then gave some to Adam. Then suddenly, everything started to change. Adam and Eve became sad. They hid from God because they knew what they had done was wrong. God called out to them. They told God how the snake had tricked them and how they had eaten the fruit from the tree that God had told them not to touch. God was so sad. Everything was spoiled. Sin and sadness had come into God's perfect world. Adam and Eve had to leave the big, beautiful garden. This perfect place could no longer be their home. They would no longer be close to God as they'd been there, for there was now a huge gap between God and them. Sin. But God never stopped loving them. He never stopped caring. You see, God had a plan. A plan to rescue his children. A plan to save the whole world. You see, no matter what, God loved his children and he was going to make a way back for them to him. <laughs> 